Okay, this first section, number one, make sure you use your favorite knot from your main line. Your main line can be monofilament, fluorocarbon, or braid. So just be sure that number one is for that purpose. Okay, next comes your lead line. Now to me, your lead line should be roughly 50% of the rated strength of your main line. And I prefer monofilament for this. Now your lead line should be your weakest link. Now why is that? Is because if you're over rocky or, or um, reefy areas, um, you want that line to break instead of losing your whole rig. Trust me, it's better to have your lead line snap rather than lose your whole rig. It's much cheaper this way. Now for my leader lines. I prefer longer leader lines when I use a shorter lead line. This is good for rocky areas, but you can use it on flat areas as well. Now that means a shorter leader line, I would use a longer lead line, the opposite of that. It's good for flatter grounds like mud to sand. I also prefer non-Chinese swivels. And the reason for that is I figure that um, when you see the flashing, the fish thinks that's a predator coming, like um, the side of a barracuda or jack make it turn coming towards them and that gives off flash. So I tend to stay away from the shinier flash, uh, flashing looking swivels. I prefer the dull coloration, something like the ones I show here. These are what is called black nickel finish and I prefer these over the bright shiny ones. Thanks.